Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Missy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Missy's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use while we're working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Missy has been fitted with her own personal training collar and we will show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Missy is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first exercise that they're going to go ahead and demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Missy take off doing that now and the command is Missy heal. Missy has been trained to walk very nicely on your left hand side at your pace, whether it be a fast pace or a slow pace. She should be keeping pace with you and not lagging behind or lunging ahead and dragging you on that leash. Also incorporated into the healing exercise is the automatic sit, which occurs any time that you stop your feet. Missy should sit nicely right there at your left heel position and she should remain seated until you give her her next command. The next command they're going to demonstrate for you is the stay command, and the stay command is a hand and voice command. You're going to take the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay. You're then going to walk out to the end of your training leash and Missy should remain seated throughout the entire command. This is a great command to incorporate into your everyday activities. It will help build up her ability to stay for longer periods of time. You want to start at about one minute and slowly increase your time up to three minutes. When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around and behind her is added distraction. She remains seated, great job. And they're gonna run through their heels, sit and stay again. Fred's going to leave her another sit stay and walk out to the end of the training leash. And then this time, instead of returning back to Missy, he's going to demonstrate the come command. You're going to call Missy in using her name. She should come in and sit nicely in front of you. It's important to make sure she sits to prevent her from jumping up on yourself and guests. And return her to heel position by healing her around the back of you, returning her to your left hand side, making sure she sits nicely, waiting for her next command. And they're going to demonstrate that again. Leave her in a sit stay out to the end of the leash. Call her in. Good job. And around the back of you. Back oh, to your left. The next command they're going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. Again, you're going to use the open flat of your left palm straight down towards the ground and the one word command to down. Then leave her, give her the stay command and walk out to the end of the leash, same that you did with the sit stay. And again, she should remain laying down throughout the entire command. And this is a great command to also incorporate into your everyday activities, whether it's washing dishes, folding laundry, cooking dinner, watching TV, anywhere where you can leave her in a down state to build up her ability to stay for longer periods of time. Fred returns back. Great job. And this is a good time to remind you that although you should be incorporating all of your commands into your everyday activities, you should set aside about a 10 to 15 minute session every day to run through your formal obedience commands in a session such as this video here. It's a great mental exercise for the dogs and it keeps them fresh and on top of their commands. We're going to demonstrate that down command for you again. Open flat of your palm, down to the ground, command to down. And they'll demonstrate the come command this time from the down position. She gets up and comes in. 
The last command, Fred's going to leave Missy in a sit stay and walk out to the end of the leash. He's going to demonstrate the down from a distance by using his right hand to give the command, the down command from the end of the leash. She should go all the way down. Good job. So Fred just gave her a no and re represented her with the command. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Missy has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Missy and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.